Sound is a form of energy. It's really useful and we hear sounds all the time. Sounds can be different. They can be soft or quiet, like a whisper, or the rustle of leaves. They can also be loud, like the cheer of a crowd, or the launch of a rocket. Sound can also be different in pitch. Pitch is how high or low a sound is. The chirp of a baby chick, for example, is usually a high-pitched sound. While the roar of a lion is a low-pitched sound. But have you ever wondered what causes sound? The answer is vibrations and sound waves. When something vibrates, it moves rapidly in a back and forth motion. This causes the air around the vibrating object to vibrate and move outward in sound waves. When sound waves reach our ears, they make tiny parts inside our ears vibrate too. These vibrations send signals to our brain and that's how we hear sounds. Let's look at some examples. When you strum a guitar, the strings vibrate and you can see how the sound is created. A speaker vibrates to create sound waves that you can hear. And a tuning fork vibrates to produce a clear single pitch sound. A drummer uses sticks to hit drums and cymbals, which makes them vibrate and produce sound. But did you know that sounds are not only caused by vibrations, but can also make things vibrate too. Let's try a simple demonstration. Here we have a large pot, a wooden spoon, a bowl covered with plastic film and some rice. When we bang the pot with the wooden spoon, a loud sound is produced. Sound waves move away from the pot and the rice starts to dance around. This shows that not only do vibrations make sounds, but sounds can also make other things vibrate too. Pretty cool, hey? So whether it's music, the roar of an airplane, or even sounds in nature, it's all thanks to vibrations and sound waves. Don't forget to subscribe!